If you are intimidated by video editing, then be sure to watch this video all the way through. I'm going to be sharing a brand new editing software with you guys that doesn't require any editing skills. I'm Amanda Horvath and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So what is this amazing video editing software? It's called Descript. Now I know some of you might be thinking, wait a second Amanda, that's not a video editing platform. That's a platform that allows you to edit podcasts. And you are absolutely right, my friend. This is a revolutionary podcast editing app. However, they have just released the video editing version of the software, and you are going to absolutely love it. Descript allows you to import audio or video files that then get transcribed and you can edit these files purely by selecting text and hitting delete. That's right, it's as simple as just editing a Word document in order to edit your podcast and now your video as well. Now for audio, this works really well because obviously you're not having to see the edits and you can simply crossfade in order to hide any cuts that might have been in your podcast. However, with video, this gets a little bit more complicated because you're obviously seeing the footage be cut. So you'll have different jump cuts along the way. So I wanted to get my hands on this software and dive in to find out the best use case for the software. And I've come up with a couple of really incredible use cases that I wanna share with you guys today. If at any point throughout this video, this is resonating with you and it seems like something that you want to try, then be sure to follow Follow the link in the description below to grab your free trial today. So let's hop on the computer and let me walk you through what I found. I have to admit, when I was first starting to dive into the software, I was a little bit intimidated about having to learn a new software. Sure, it might be easy, but how intuitive is it to actually use? And I was so very impressed with Descript's customer service, like their tutorials as they walked me through how to actually use it. There are five different tutorials that they'll walk you step-by-step -step through the entire process of using this software software and getting you to take action based on different steps that they might outline within the tutorials themselves. So there's no fear that you're going to get into this software and not understand how to use it. So there's honestly not really a point in me going over that because they do that oh so well and you will be walked through it. So rest assured you are good to go there. But when it comes to actually getting creative on the platform, that is where I would like to give you a few ideas ideas. The first way to use this software is simple video editing. So let's say you went out and you recorded a one take video. During that video, you're going to be rambling occasionally, maybe trying to fill the air with some extra words. And so in order to really cut down that video content to actually be interesting, something that someone would want to watch, you can import it into this software and chop that bad boy up to make it way speedier with only the most relevant amount of content. So let me show you how this works. So this is what the video looks like after it's been imported and transcribed. You can see all the different texts. There might be some parts that aren't spelled correctly or whatever. We don't need to worry about that for right now. I found that it's really helpful to duplicate that sequence just to have a backup that if you wanted to go back and pull any of this back, it's really simple to just copy and paste sections. Say that you deleted this and you wanna go back to it later. It's a little bit more complicated to go in and try to uh, find that once you've cut it out. So I like to have the full clip just as an extra little duplicate. And then you can just drag these by dragging and dropping however you want. So we'll be working on this one. So what I would do first and foremost is just to look through and just like listen for any mistakes or anything like that and you'll be able to see the mistakes too. So right here at the beginning, I know that there's a mistake. He says, sorry, but I'll show it to you just so you can see. Ready? 
You ever get in that situation where you have to work on a paper? Sorry. Okay, so there he wants to start over. So all you got to do, select that, delete that. So now we just go through and we just say, whatever doesn't make sense, we're just going to cut that out to make it way faster. Now, as we do that, we are going to have a lot more cuts that are going to be going into the video. Some of those may or may not look weird. In my opinion, there is a time and a place for jump cut video editing. If you are doing this for social media and you are trying to get your clip down to one minute, then having a lot of jump cuts in there might actually make the content more interesting to watch because you're talking a lot faster rather than having these different gaps that you might have within your natural speech. So I would recommend going for it and just trying it out. So by following that strategy, I was able to take this video that is typically two minutes and cut it down to one minute. So I was able to cut out an entire minute by cutting out anything that wasn't relevant and doing a ton of jump cuts. So here's a quick clip of what that might look like. You ever get in that situation where you're working on a paper or a presentation or something like that and you just get stuck and it feels like you're hitting a wall, you're blocked, no thoughts or creativity is flowing? Well, when that happens, try this quick journaling technique. I call it flow writing. The second example is macro to micro content. Everyone is always talking about repurposing video footage, but it's never as easy as they make it sound. So clearly I have a lot of YouTube videos. I have 125 videos uploaded to this YouTube channel and everyone's always saying like, oh, why don't you just take those and repurpose them and promote them on in other social media platforms and such. And I have done this in the past, but it can be really time intensive to take that long form video and edit it into smaller clips. And it's really challenging to outsource. I've been working on outsourcing that because it takes someone to think creatively and say, okay, what of this video would be interesting to pull out and put together into a one minute clip? Descript solves this problem. So as the thought leader, all I have to do is import the entire YouTube video into the platform and then go ahead and read the parts that seem like it would make the most sense to create a short form video clip. So what I did was I went from, took this one video from a four minute and 30 second video and cut it down to the most relevant content so that I have a clip that is 120, or one minute and 20 seconds. I can then take the selection that I made and export that either as a video file that my outsourcer can then take and import into my social teaser template that I've created that all of you guys can use too, super easy in terms of outsourcing, or I could actually send a Premiere Pro XML file that would allow her to fine tune the edit before importing it into the social teaser template. The one thing that I did run into that was a little bit of an obstacle was how long it takes for the videos to transcribe. So I wanted to try something a little bit different. What if the software didn't actually need to transcribe my footage? Now, if you are a YouTuber, then you're familiar with this as well. But basically with YouTube, a good practice is to get your videos transcribed right after you upload them. So I use a service called rev.com for this. And on rev.com, I have all those transcriptions of all the past videos that I've created. So what I did was I actually imported the transcript instead of having it do the transcription within the software and that sped up the amount of time that it took for me to be able to edit the video. So I wanted to point that out in case that is helpful for anyone if you hit a wall in the terms of having to wait for that transcription to come through. The third example is automatic captions. Now this is an incredible use case. So let me quickly describe what you would need to do if you did not have this software, because a lot of you guys might not be familiar with this. So currently, if you have my social teaser template, you are going to need to go in and manually add what is being said in the video 
frame by frame essentially or not exactly frame by frame but like 10 seconds at a time and time that to be accurate with the video that takes so long so i've been looking for a software that could very easily replace the need to do this manually and i found a few but none of them work super well to really cut down on that time that it takes in order to do that but Descript does. So let me show you what I did. I wanted to completely replace the need for that social teaser template, but I didn't quite get there, but I got close enough. So what I did was I took that clip that we had created and I duplicated the composition in order to create another one. And I made, I changed the composition settings to be over here. You can go edit from 16.9 to 1.1 1, 1, and that made it into a square ratio. And then I positioned my video at the center of the frame so you can easily just kind of move it around. And then by clicking Command K, you can insert rectangles so I inserted two different rectangles which you can just click on these and simply it says show properties and you can change whatever color you want so I did one at the top that is square one at the bottom that is gray and then the best parts you click command K again and then you go insert down to the fancy captions and that will automatically caption your video. And because you've double checked the grammar, it's going to actually be accurate down here. So when we click play, you'll see what this does. For the next two months, I'm going to be going all in on LinkedIn. So and in this awesome. video as of right now, they don't have a ton of text options within the platform. So personally, I like to use my branded fonts in order to promote these videos on social media. I just think it matches a lot better with my branding versus using random fonts. However, if you wanted to, you could just stick to creating your social teaser template in this. But I want to show you what I did and what you can do too if you do use my social teaser templates. So then whenever I go into Premiere Pro, all I have to do is open up that social teaser template, find my clip, drag it into the timeline. We now get to delete the subtitles, which is amazing. And then you just drag in your video clip underneath it and can time it for as long as it needs to be for the entire clip and then change your the progress bar to be going across the screen at the proper time just move this keyframe to the end of the video and then there you go you have everything set you can write your title in there and it will be branded to you. Now, it might not seem like that saves a ton of time, but it genuinely does. Writing the captions is what takes the most amount of time for these videos. So that is huge. So hopefully you're just as excited about Descript as I am. I know I'm certainly going to keep using it and I'm sure I'll pop back on and share some more use cases about it in the future as well. If this video is helpful, be sure to click like, drop a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.